back to a brand new how-to episode. This should be episode three if I remember counting correctly. Uh, we are at main event today, guys. We're going to teach you how to play Milk Jug Toss. Uh, now, this is like a carnival-style arcade game, guys. You see this, you know, you've seen this in like carnivals everywhere, like put the ball in the bucket kind of thing. Well, they turned it into an arcade game, guys, and you can win tickets off it. Um, now, that thousand on there does not mean a thousand tickets, guys. That means a thousand points. Uh, and each hole down in front of it, if you don't get it into the milk jug, is worth different amounts of points. Now, depending on what you score, you can win up to a thousand tickets, guys. Uh, so you see like 50 to 250, five tickets, and so on, all the way up. If you score five milk jugs, you get the, obviously the big bonus. Um, so let me show you guys how it's played, and I'll give you a couple tips and pointers on uh, maybe a couple places that may help you win. But this is all about muscle memory and, you know, on how you throw the ball. All right, guys, so he makes fun of you as you throw stuff, but you got to wait for the ball to come out. I can feel it. There it is. All right, so we're going to go for that milk jug and just show you guys that I suck really bad at it. No, uh, so I got 50 points there for one of the lower holes. And I'm throwing off to the right for some reason. I have no idea why. 250? Nope, 50. That time I threw it to the left. And I get 150 points. So uh, I am now out of the five ticket range and I'm in the 15 ticket range. Oh! So that is a milk jug, guys. Just like I got a thousand points. So we are now up to 25 tickets. Let's get another one, huh? Oops. Slipped out of my hand. 1,450 is going to put me still within the 25 tickets, guys, because I'm below 1,500 points. But uh, as you can see, it's all about how you throw the ball, and I got one directly into the milk jug. That doesn't usually happen. Usually, if you put it in the milk jug, it's going to jump right out of it because of that curve that's in it. So uh, let's try this again, guys, and I'll give you a couple pointers on um, different ways to throw the ball and, you know, backspin. Everything affects the ball, guys, so... What I'm gonna to try to do is aim for his nose. Try to bounce it right off his nose. Because it puts it in a pretty good position to bounce and stay in the, ja uh, the jug. So, if I could get it straight on, it'd be great. This is why I don't play these throwing games too often, guys, because I am horrible at them. <laughs> oh, see, I got 300. That's a and one more. So that time I got zero jugs. But we ended up with 150, so we were what? 500, 600 points. 15 tickets that time, guys. So we'll do one more and I will show you just, just like I said, I'll do, I'll do some like backspin stuff. Just try different things and show you guys how the balls react to the jugs when they hit. Score big tickets for putting all the balls into the milk jug. Come on, balls. There we go. All right, I'm going to do backspin this time. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to release it like this. Oh, look at that, guys. Now, that was pure luck. I will admit that. So, here we go. See, because I threw it off to the left. Pure luck. All right, come on now. I threw it short. And 50. that time guys I knocked off the back lip of the jug and it stayed right there so that backspin helped us a lot and I was off to the right that time but hey I got 2300 points that puts us into the 40 ticket range guys between uh, or no actually I'm sorry that puts us into 50 ticket range because we're between 2000 and 2500 I misread that real quick um so there you go guys different ways that the balls affect hitting the jug now one thing I did forget to mention there is a gutter you can get zero points it's right here in the front, these two little holes on the left and right hand side. So if for whatever reason you have a little one or whatever and it can't throw too far and it gets down into there, you're going to get zero points. So you may want to help them if, they have, if you have little kids playing this game. The other thing that I want to point out for you guys too is right up here in the corner is a cheat sensor. Now this will detect if you're reaching in too far. So because some people are like, why can't you just climb in there and put the balls in the jug? 
That's why, right there. So this cheat sensor will stop you from cheating at the game, guys. So they have thought of everything and know there's no way to override it or disable it, no matter what any other YouTuber says, guys. There's no maintenance mode. There's no touch the little screws and you're gonna get the jackpot every time, guys. Nothing like that. So uh, we're gonna try one more time, just to give you one more game. I'm not gonna talk about it, just gonna do and see if we can hit a jackpot. Aim to get all the balls into the milk jug for big tickets. Alright, let's do this. Make it happen. Need a ball. There we go. Oh, we're off the lip of it. Ah. Oh, I know, I'm throwing them way too short. Oh, in and out. See guys, that's what normally happens with a ball is it'll just rim it right in and out. Now, there is a timer on this, so if you don't throw your ball, it will time out on you and give you 50 points, just the default. So make sure you throw your balls quick or else you're not gonna get the points. It's only gonna give you 50 per ball, so. All right guys, so that does it for this episode of How to Play Milk Jug Toss. I uh, hope you guys are enjoying this how-to series. It seems to be getting a lot of uh, good attention. A lot of people are enjoying this video series. So let me know if you do in the comments below, guys. Let me know what games you want to learn how to play in the future videos. But for now, guys, I've been JJ Journal one Thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please drop a thumb up on it. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button, guys. And when you guys do, click that bell and turn on notifications so you guys don't miss any time I upload a new video like this. But once again, guys, thank you so much for watching. And as I always say, catch you guys next time. Thank you so much for watching that video, guys. If you enjoyed it, please click that thumbs up button and don't forget to subscribe. And when you click subscribe, don't forget to turn on that bell and click on all notifications so you guys don't miss any time I upload a new video. But don't forget to follow me as well on my social media pages, Instagram and Twitter, JJGeneral1, and my Facebook fan page at Facebook.com slash JJGeneral1 YouTube, all one word. If you guys want to check out my last upload, please click in the upper right hand corner. If you want to see a playlist of similar videos, click in the lower left corner. If you want to subscribe, click in that upper left corner and check out my merchandise store, lower right corner.